It's an absolutely catastrophic situation right now in Gaza. Um, you have, as you just mentioned, uh, a vast majority of people facing hunger. We have with malnourishment or with even uh, people under extreme hunger is um, that your body gets weak. And when your body gets weak, it catches diseases very easily. People in Gaza are in an in a absolutely catastrophic situation. You can die either from diseases, you can die from hunger and mal malnutrition and uh, being um, uh, without water, or you can die from the shots and the wounds and the collapsing buildings. So it's a, it's a, a horrendous and horrible situation. Children are indeed the most vulnerable in such a situation. Um, when they are hungry, uh, when they are not nourished enough and they're malnourished, um, they can catch any disease very easily. And if a child then catches diarrhea, for example, a diarrhea on a young child that is malnourished and weak can kill within the day. So it's nearly a death sentence for many of these children who anyway are already scared away from their homes, maybe missing loved ones and family or maybe wounded. So a catastrophic scenario and it's affecting the children the most. Right now uh, we have over 25,000 deaths in Gaza and 10,000 of these, so nearly half are children. The Gaza health system was really in a good shape before. The war. Now this has obviously changed completely. Seven um, in the north and seven in the south of the hospitals are still partially functioning. So that's 14 hospitals in Gaza partially functioning. Um, 36 they once had. So 22 are not. The of this war will last for long, even if it stops.